Hello and welcome to Bite Size History, History of the United Kingdom, brought to you by AI Cast. I'm your host, Aidan. In this episode, we'll be delving into the topic of Celtic art in late Iron Age Britain. As we explore this unique and distinctive art style, we'll take a closer look at the techniques used by Celtic artists, the motifs and symbols that defined their work, and the cultural significance of their creations. The term, Celtic art, is often used to describe the art of the various Celtic-speaking peoples who inhabited Europe during the Iron Age. In Britain, this art form emerged in the late Iron Age, around the 3rd century BC, and continued to develop until the Roman conquest in the 1st century AD. Throughout this period, Celtic art in Britain went through a series of stylistic changes, influenced by both indigenous traditions and contact with other cultures. Celtic art in Britain was heavily influenced by two earlier styles from the European continent, the Hallstatt style, which originated in Central Europe around the 8th century BC, and the Latin style, which emerged in what is now modern-day Switzerland around the 5th century BC. Both the Hallstatt and Latin styles were characterized by their intricate geometric patterns, curvilinear designs, and the use of stylized animal and human figures. The Hallstatt style was primarily associated with the early Iron Age and can be seen in a range of artifacts from this period, including pottery, metalwork, and sculpture. In contrast, the Latin style was more closely associated with the late Iron Age and had a much broader geographical reach, extending as far west as Ireland and as far east as Romania. The Latin style had a particularly significant impact on the development of Celtic art in Britain, as it coincided with a period of increasing contact and cultural exchange between Britain and the European continent. This is evident in the adoption of Latin inspired motifs and techniques in British Celtic art, as well as the incorporation of new materials and technologies, such as the use of enamel and glass. Celtic artists in late Iron Age Britain employed a range of techniques and materials in their work. Among the most common materials used were metal, wood, and stone, with metals such as bronze, iron, and gold being particularly favored for their durability, malleability, and aesthetic appeal. One of the defining characteristics of Celtic art was its intricate and complex designs, which often combined geometric patterns with stylized representations of animals and human figures. To create these intricate patterns, Celtic artists used a variety of techniques, including engraving, repose, the process of shaping metal by hammering it from the reverse side, inlay, and casting. Celtic artists also made extensive use of enameling, a technique that involved the application of colored powdered glass to a metal surface, which was then heated until the glass melted and fused to the metal. This created a vibrant, durable, and visually striking effect, which was used to embellish a wide range of objects, from jewelry and weapons to horse harnesses and chariot fittings. Celtic art in late Iron Age Britain was characterized by the use of a rich and diverse range of motifs and symbols. Among the most common motifs were geometric patterns, such as spirals, circles, and interlacing designs, which were often combined to create intricate and elaborate compositions. In addition to these geometric patterns, Celtic art also featured a range of stylized animal and human figures. These figures were often highly abstract and distorted, with features such as elongated limbs, exaggerated curves, and elongated or compressed proportions. Some of the most recognizable examples of these stylized figures include the so-called Celtic triskele, a three-legged or three-armed spiral design, and the Celtic knot, an intricate interlacing pattern that formed a continuous loop. Animal motifs were also prevalent in Celtic art, with creatures such as birds, horses, boars, and serpents featuring prominently in various designs. These animals were often depicted in highly stylized and exaggerated forms, with elongated limbs, sinuous bodies, and intricate detailing. In many cases, these animal motifs were believed to hold symbolic or spiritual significance, representing attributes such as strength, courage, or wisdom. Human figures were less common in Celtic art, but when they did appear, they were often shown in highly abstract or distorted forms. One notable example of this can be found in the Celtic head, a stylized representation of the human head, which was characterized by its large, almond-shaped eyes, elongated nose, and highly stylized facial features. This motif was believed to have held particular significance in Celtic society, possibly representing a deity or ancestor figure. Celtic art in late Iron Age Britain was not merely a form of decoration, but rather served a range of cultural, social, and religious functions. The elaborate designs and intricate craftsmanship that characterized this art form were indicative of the skill and prestige of the artists who created them, as well as the patrons who commissioned their work. Celtic art also played an important role in expressing and reinforcing the identity and values of the people who created and used these objects. The motifs and symbols found in Celtic art often held deep cultural and religious significance, reflecting the beliefs, myths, and stories that were central to Celtic society. By incorporating these motifs and symbols into their work, 
Celtic artists not only created visually stunning objects but also imbued their creations with layers of meaning and significance. In addition, the production and exchange of Celtic art served to reinforce social bonds and relationships within Celtic society. Objects such as jewellery, weapons, and other high-status items were often used as gifts, offered as tribute, or exchanged in trade, helping to forge connections between individuals, families, and tribes. In conclusion, the art of the late Iron Age in Britain represents a distinctive and visually striking form of artistic expression, characterized by its intricate designs, complex symbolism, and diverse range of materials and techniques. As we've explored in this episode, Celtic art was not only a reflection of the artistic skill and creativity of its creators but also served important cultural, social, and religious functions within the society that produced it. By studying and appreciating this unique art form, we gain a deeper understanding of the people who inhabited Britain during the late Iron Age and the complex, interconnected world they inhabited. We hope you've enjoyed this exploration of Celtic art in late Iron Age Britain. Join us next time as we delve into the fascinating world of religion and beliefs in late Iron Age society. Thank you for listening. If you like the show, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time on Bite Size History. Thank you.